Okay, before I say anything, hashtag Ice Bear for President. Okay. Hey guys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a rubber band launcher out of paper clips. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need is paper clips. A lot of paper clips. You will need a rubber band. Or multiple rubber bands if you want different shooting styles. And this is optional. A scope. Scope out your enemies. Scope, scope, scope out your enemies. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you take a single rubber band, I mean paper clip, put that there. Now what you do is you form the paper clip into sort of a gun shape by taking this and pulling and pulling down, hurting my fingers. Ow. Until I kind of get something like this. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a fairly big paper clip. Make sure that no paper clips are attached to it. Take another paper clip. And now, what we're going to do is you're going to try and make this as long as possible. So first, stretch it out like this. So that it's an awesome S shape. Next, bring up the shorter part of the S. This will be the part that the rubber band goes on. Now the last part, what you're going to want to do, is find a way to attach them together. So, you can use multiple methods, but this might take a while, so I'm just going to speed through this. This video is being sped up, this video is being sped up, this video is being sped up, and you can't do anything about okay, it. Okay, guys, I've finally done my second version. Wow. So, this version is better than version 1. 1 is because it's just naturally longer, which lets you shoot more rubber bands. 2 is more stable. I actually use 3 rubber bands in this version. And, well, 3... It just looks awesome. And it also shoots really well. Okay, so there are multiple places you can put on the scope. Place number one. Put it right here. At the beginning. Right here. This is really good for scoping. Try and get it even. Because then it looks nice. Have fun scoping like this. The only problem with this type of scoping is that you'll have to put the rubber band on this, which might not be the best. Way number two. You can put it at the very back. The good thing about this way is that you don't have to attach the rubber band to it. Only problem is that it can interrupt the rubber band near the back. I'm sorry, but we had some technical difficulties. Okay, so what you can do is you can, like, bite it. 
and then you can fold it over. This way it works slightly better in the fact that you don't have to put the rubber band on it. Although it is limited in some ways, because if you look, if you put it forward enough, you won't be able to put on the rubber band, which is a major issue. Number three, if you can do this, you can put it in the middle of your gun. Might not be the smartest, but it still works. Might not be the most stable. It still works. And it doesn't interfere with the spring. I mean the rubber band. Hopefully. If the rubber band is small enough, it will. But having it over, like, in the middle, it, it's, it's just not the safest. But it still works. It could fall off any second. But it still works. In fact, another way you can do the scope is just to have the sides come up like this. So that you can just look and make sure that the, your target is in between these. Which is another way you can do it. So yeah, that's how you can do a scope. This is my personal favorite. Hey, first is silly bands. Yay, everybody loves silly bands. So let's load up the gun. I'm going to take off the scope for this. Okay. There's something out there. I just know it. <laughs> Yay, it worked. Hey, you guys. Have a good day. And make sure to check out my video about how to make a pen gun. Like, comment, and subscribe. Learn how to make a pen gun with only a spring and a pen.